Hello, my beautiful people. It is Sherry Moulton, back with another video. Happy bling bling day. I hope you had an amazing week. I hope you enjoyed the coaster, the um, eyelash case I made for my amazing coworker, Katie. Um, turned out kind of cool. And yeah, so I'm just getting on here because today's bling bling isn't going to be a bling bling. I am very, very sorry. Um, things kind of got away from me this week and we are back on track next week, but I just wanted to get on here just to say that, um, I hope don't be disappointed, please. It's pretty cool. It is a resin piece and I hope you enjoy it. Um, you're going to get a double intro, but I just wanted to get on here and, you know, get the crown on and get into everything. So with that being said, I hope you have a wonderful Sunday. Go grab a coffee, go grab a tea, or whatever it is you desire, and get some blinging going on. It's not, there's, there is some glitter, so you know, you won't be totally disappointed. But with that being said, my amazing people, I will see you guys in a couple minutes. Bye. Hello, my beautiful people. It is Sherry Moulton back with another video. I hope you're having a wonderful week. Um, my head's cut off. There we go. <laughs> I am at my trailer. I'm making a few videos in a row. I'm playing around with my casting resin from Crystal Resin. Um, I have a little leftover from when I did those eyelash holders. So we are doing our S and it is going to be beach themed. So we're just going to get right into it because my resin is already mixed. I'm going to flip you down and I'll be right back. Hello, we are back. I'm just putting up a new set of gloves. Um, oh, I am, like I said, I'm using the casting craft, craft casting resin from Crystal Resin. It is a two to one ratio and it is a deep pour casting resin. It is, you can do up to two inches thick um, and it is self leveling. It is heat. Let me just read it really quick. It is um, self leveling, anti UV, low velocity, and it is low odor. It is excellent heat resistance it is scratch resistant and uvt protect uv protected it is a high gloss water dirt and sullivan resistant it is non-toxic it is fda approved and it is astmd-4236 standard i have no idea what that is but i will be looking that up today so i've pre-mixed up like i said i for my previous video and we're just going to get into this because i thought today with this S I'm going to do a beach in it. So I have probably about two or three ounces left of my resin for before. So, and oh my goodness, look at that. It is crystal clear. So I'm pouring it in my S and then after I pour it in, I'm going to explain to you what I, what my plans are. This um, mold takes 10 ounces almost. So I thought I would pour this in and embed all of my little um, things I want to put in, which worked out well. And we're going to get it all off there. And before we finish, I'm just going to wipe off my amazing stir stick. These are from Crystal Resin. Check them out. I swear, I love them. They're good for paints. They're good for resin. Um, just, I personally just like to clean it off as soon as I use it. And that didn't work, so we're going to give it another quick wipe. Hold on, guys. My other wet one was all gross, so there we go. We want to keep it nice. Perfect. Okay. So my thoughts are, I would like to do, I've got some broken shells. 
I have some of these shells. I have put in here the sand I had with glitter. That was from when I did my beach themed um, brain fart, my beach themed tic-tac-toe board. And then I have these little guys. Now, I may not put all of them in, I may put some in. Also, I don't know if you guys um, have been looking at my past videos, but I had did a light bulb and was wanting to do it in a um, ocean themed. So months, we're gonna say almost six months ago, I purchased all of these amazing little creatures. And it's, um, I don't know if you can hear, I'm gonna, let me see what I can put it on. It is a seahorse. So we're going to embed a seahorse in here. Um, we have some jellyfish. Jellyfish. So we'll put one of those in there. And uh, these are all in my Amazon shops. So I will, if you take a peek, I'm 100% sure they're still in there. And what else will we put in here? Um, we have like the little, I got various sizes of these mushroom ones. I like the long tentacle one. We will put one of these in. Oh, it's stuck in there. Oh, it looks like a piece of coral, but it's, so put that in. We'll do those three and the only sad part is I only have one seahorse. Hmm. We've got a bunch of these. We'll put one of these little guys in there. So there'll be... It's the same as the long one, but there's not as long tentacles or whatever you want to call them. All right. So we're going to put those three in there. And... Oh, what the hay. We'll put this one too. So there'll be three and there's a medium size. That's why I said the ones that look like a mushroom. So we'll put that in there. So I, what I figured I would put, um, all of this stuff in here first, and then I'm going to come back with all of my Lores paste, not silver, all of my Lores paste. So I've got um, this one is Peacock Dance, and this one is Aqua Ocean. So I'm going to make a couple of variations of blue. And then I'm going to use my Lores White Angel White. And see, I'm going to see if we can do a little bit of a wave, but it might not work. But So we've got a few little bubbles in there. And I don't want to use, actually I've got my heat gun out. We're going to give it a little bit of a heat. I just don't want to um, ruin the mold. I got my torch here. I'm gonna turn it down and get in there. Oh, that worked. There we go. That's perfect. And always pay attention, guys. Around the edges of your molds, the bubbles love to go. Okay, so there we go. So let's get some, putting some stuff in. I'm excited. Okay, so I want to have, I may do this in three layers. So what I'm thinking is, I'm going to put some seashells on the bottom. I'm going to try and keep this third down here for sand and that aspect. So we're going to put some of these down here. Oh, that's too funny. And I only brought one type of shell. I've got thousands of cell shells at home. All right. And I, I like to put it with the hole facing out so you can see the hole. And then what I'm going to do is put um, sand 
I'm going to do a thin layer of white and just put sand down here. And then when I come back with all of the other stuff, it'll I think it'll work. We'll see. You never know. You never know. So I may pour some of these just broken shells in there. Done. Oh my goodness, they're all stuck to my glove. There we go. Okay. So I'm going to put the lid on these so I don't make a mess. Because if you know Sherry, Sherry's a messy Marvin. Okay, put these in here. Uh, maybe I'll do another one. We'll anchor that in there. Where's the stick? I got I used all of my little ones. So I'm going to try and move it. And flip it because I want I want that hole on the bottom there perfect you know how things work in threes right there that's done okay and you always end up with little bubbles when you put things in so be mindful and come back periodically. All right, I'm excited to put these guys in. So I'm going to take my one glove off just because it's got stuff on it and I don't want it to. I'm just going to lay them in. Uh, get our seahorse closer down here maybe. This little guy up here, and this little guy. Where do I put him? Maybe here. All right, let's move them around here. And I want to, if you put them on the bottom, I'm pretty sure that you're going to see them. The only thing I can see right now that I'm not overly impressed with all that. Actually, I could probably scoop some of them out. I don't want to get resin on this because my husband uses this. I stole his uh, um, Thing he uses for his food. He sits this on his lap when he eats. It's kind of his TV tray. So I'm trying to move it around so that all of that, I'm hoping you can see guys, all of the broken shells I put in there sunk right to the bottom. So with that, I guess we're going to let that sit for, I'm tempted to put another one in there. Let me see. Let me bring you in. I'm hoping. Let me see. I'll bring you in and I'll bring this up. Whoop, wrong way. Let's see. We'll find another one. We'll put another one in there. One that we have a lot of. I got one that's, oh, there's another different one. Here we go. We'll put him here. Oh, I guess it's the same as that one. Oh, well. Let's see, we put him like that. There we go. There, we are done. I'm gonna give it a little bit more of a... <laughs> the torch did work well when I put it down in, so down and light it. And just go along. Because, amazing, there are no bubbles in there. That's pretty cool. 
but there is a hair. There's always something, eh, guys? All right, there we go. I What I'm going to do is I'm going to put you on pause. I'll bring you down and give you a good look because I don't know if you can see all the way inside there. So with that, I'll be right back, guys. There you go. That's where I placed everything. So I've got those little jelly fishies and stuff like that going through there and our cute little seahorse. And then that's where I was having the problem. All of the um, broken glass or the shells went right to the bottom. So hopefully that'll be good. Maybe I can kind of try and move them around a bit more. So with that, I'm going to leave that sit for probably four hours come back and we will do all of the ocean colors on top so with that I'll see you guys in a little bit where's the button I'm always losing the button hello we're going to do our second part of the S for sherry sea creatures like look at that is that not kind of cool hopefully you can see this so I'm having, I was having an issue. I'm sitting here thinking, how am I going to get my sand in here and then pour my ocean in here without um, having the sand take over like it did when I was um, doing my tic-tac-toe board. So um, also in the process, I'll be doing a video um, that I've seen Julie Cutts do from Pour Your Heart Out. She made coasters that looked exactly like my bling bling paintings with the zigzag. So I'm going to make coasters like that, but in the process to do that, you use polyurethane, which is basically, let me get the English side. Um, it is just a, what is it? Polycrylon protective finish. It's just a varnish. Okay. I've also watched a few other videos where people have used, um, like your, anything you put your coating on of your, like a varnish medium. That's it. You don't need anything. So what I'm doing is I'm going to put my sand, which Sorry, I can't see where I'm going, which has a little bit of, it's real sand. It's got dark and light and I, it's me. I put glitter in it. <laughs> see. So what I'm going to do is put very, very, very little bit into this cup. I'm going to put sand in it and make a paste and then you paint it on. So I basically want it to come kind of like to the edge here oh I'm sorry I want it to come to the edge here and I'm going to paint all of this with a good coat of the sand let it dry for a couple hours hopefully it won't be that long and then I'll come back and do the rest with the ocean now being I'm at the trailer the back part of this might be water but that should be fine because it'll be the back side that you don't see that you see it. So anyways, I'm, I'm working sideways. So I'm hoping you guys can see. Oh, too funny. I'm going to put you in pause. I had a stray cat in my trailer. Just a second guys. That is so funny. I have my screen door open at the trailer so the cats can kind of come in and out without me paying too much attention. And then I turned around earlier and there was this black cat in the trailer. <laughs> My other one was just hissing at it. Here, I'm going to pour. Like, there's not even an ounce in there, guys. Now, just let me get... I'm trying to be mindful. I'm just going to grab something to wipe the edge of that off with. And I'm just going to add some of the, the glitter. Or sand. I guess there is glitter in the sand. We're going to get that in there. There we go. And here, I'll move this out of the way so you can see me mixing it. And you want it to be like a huge paste. Actually, you know what? 
I have a lot in there, so I think I'm going to take some of it out because I just want a very little bit. Like it might even be like that little. I'm going to go with that. So you want it to be I think I might put a little more in and it's gonna dry clear it looks very cloudy I used to use this polyurethane like I said before I I owned a um, store my mother and I and I taught we taught people to toll paint and do all the stuff so we used to use this to finish off our pieces there I think that's good so I'm gonna bring this over and I bought these because there's another lady that does them that I was watching and she puts them all on with the paintbrush all of her glittery stuff so I don't know I think I still need to put a little more in because it's separating. And I know it's sand. The sand is heavy. Or than what glitter would be, so. Okay, here we go. So I'm just dropping it in. Can you see inside? I'm just I feel bad because I hope you can see because the mold is so. I'm just putting this in here. And then I'm taking this brush. This is probably so small. And I'm just going to try and move it, pat it down so it's a thin coat. Here, I can pick it up so you can see it. I'm just patting it down. So it's like a very, very thin coat. I think this will work. Too funny. I'm glad I brought all that stuff because I had planned to make another video, which it probably won't happen. Just because. So you guys got the gist of what I'm doing here. So I'm just going to... Try and work a little quicker. And then let this sit for quite a while. But I want to make sure it's not transparent. Like I want a full or opaque or whichever. I want it to be fully covered. Sorry, I'm just pushing it all in. So there, see, that's what I did. And then what I'm hoping is when I do the first, I'll see if this is gonna work, but in my brain. <laughs> scary thought but in my brain I want to do a wave or two so I thought because you're working backwards the wave you normally put on last right when you're doing a pour that would be the last thing you put on but because you're working backwards it should be the first thing that you're putting on so I'm going to do a small layer of clear resin and I'm going to do just a little here and a little here and then a line here and try and blow over and make out see if the waves work but mind you the wave should have went over <laughs> I should have done it before I put this on because it'll be covered by this but That'll be fine. I can still do waves up in here. So, see when you talk it through, it sometimes makes sense. What you're trying to do. All right, well, my friends, I'm gonna leave this. I might put a little bit in that edge where there's, might stick a little bit more right here. 
if I can get that off to cover that corner right there because I don't want to make it too thin and have where you can see through because like I said the back because I'm at the trailer is more than likely going to be blue There you go. All right, guys, we're going to let it dry. Hopefully it won't take too long and I'll see you when it's ready. Bye. Hello, we are back. I have changed locations. I am now back at home because for some reason we have to work for money. Oh my goodness. So anyways, um, on my way home, I have to go get my car checked. There's something going on with it because Every time I get in it, for some reason, it drives to Michael's. So I don't know if that's a mechanical issue or something's going on there, but I think it might take it in the mechanic because I don't know, it just keeps driving me to Michael's and then I get in trouble because I spend money. Anyways, just fooling around. I have mixed up. <laughs> I have six ounces of, actually I guess that's seven, ounces of um, the crystal resin, which is the um, the deep casting resin that I was using, same resin. Um, I, um, cause I'm home. I did use my, uh, ventilator. I have got my Dyson air purifier on. I'm choosing to take it off to talk to you amazing people. So on that note, I went to Michael's. My car drove me there. That's my excuse. And I found these. And of course I'm doing this. Look at all these little sharks stingrays <coughs> excuse me so sorry octopus crab jellyfish colored so i'm like oh my goodness and i put all these white ones in now these were expensive there was two packs and they were 8.50 a pack and i'm like oh my goodness but i used my coupon so i did use a coupon for one so i'm thinking because i've got these guys in and it's such a shame because they're all just white i may put a shark further back and i'm going to be doing the resin's going to be colored but it'll be transparent hopefully so with that and look at my um sand when i mixed it in with that polyurethane that worked amazing so we're going to get mixing so i'm going to mix up three try three what I might do is two blues, a little bit of white, and some gold. And I'm just pouring. There's no rhyme or reason. Because I do need all this. But I'm going to try and do a little more of one color than the other. I don't need a whole lot of the white. That's probably enough for the white. And that's probably enough for the gold. So we'll see. And I am using, from Laura's Art Corner, this is La Res. I've opened it up because I heated it up in my sink. So this one is Peacock Dance. I've already stirred it, so there's not a whole lot. I'm trying to take off all I can because, again, I want this to be very transparent so you can see through. So I'll put that in the biggest one. We'll see what comes. We'll mix until we... I want it to be blue. I want it to be see-through. I think that right there is about it. So I'm going to scrape that off. And because these are my amazing sticks, I'm going to wipe it off right away. Because we got to keep everything looking beautiful. And OMG, I took my gloves off because I made a mess. And I will put a new pair back on. Okay, so that's that. Now we're going to use, I've got the um, Lorez pigment paste again. And this one is, oh my goodness, look at that. That's all on the inside of the glove. That's too funny. Um, I'm going to grab a couple little sticks because I don't want to, I'm going to put the lid on this so I don't goof it up. 
So that was the Peacock Dance. This one is the Aqua Ocean. I'm going to give it a little bit of stir. This one heated up really, really nice. Take off almost everything because I don't want it to be very... Um, I want to be able to see through it. Don't want it to be. I want it to be transparent. So there we go. And that's darker. So we're going to do this a little lighter. going to be hard to go to work tomorrow. Today is Thursday. So tomorrow um, is kind of my last day at my where I currently work. It's going to be a hard day for me. I've been there for 20, over 22 years and I got injured at work. So I'm no longer able to do my PSW job so it's gonna be hard I'm a crier I'm oh my goodness ask anybody that knows me so we'll see how tomorrow goes I'll give you an update because the next part of the video will be after I go to work so all right there I think that's good and do I add a little glitter my friends because it's sherry we're gonna put a little bit of this. This is the um, Pigmente Per Artisty Pale Gold. I butcher it every single time. Do not judge me. I'm going to put just a little bit in here because I thought we would do the back end of the the sand. If it works out, if it doesn't, that is what it is. That stuff is just so gorgeous. All right, mix that up. And let me see, I was thinking about putting, huh, throwing things around, maybe a little dab of this Shifting C. And I'm gonna try and use the not so much side. Just, like for Sherry, that's amazing. There's not hardly any in there. <laughs> oh. Anyways, all right, we're gonna stir it up. Cause like life, we have to have a little sparkle, right guys? And I'm gonna put a little bit of white. This might not work because I was in my brain, I should have done it underneath that sand first with a little bit of I'm just dipping it in and pulling it out because we don't need a lot. And that is Lorez paste again from Laura's Art Corner. This one is Angel White because my paste, my label's all goofed up, but that's Angel White. Alrighty, let's get this. So what I might do is to make these flow, I'm gonna pour a little bit of the clear on the bottom, just to get just a thin cover up that sand part. There we go. And this works well in here. I know you shouldn't use the torch, but because you can get it down and it'll go right on. No bubbles, amazing stuff. Okay, so let me see, let me see. Oh, I gotta plug in my, um, cause I took it to the trailer. I gotta plug in my heat gun. There we go. And let's see if we can do a couple waves. Nothing extravagant. 
Let's do and okay. we'll see what it does. If it doesn't do anything, that's fine with me. That's good. I just want movement in there, right? Can you see? And I'm glad that this, let me see if I can bring you in a little closer so you can see a little better. Is that better guys? I think it is. There. So I've put a little, and I'm gonna come back in with my torch and see if I can make some, some cells with that. Where did I put my stick? Gonna... I don't know. We're not going to do it. We're going to leave it. I'm going to grab one of these things and see if we can just swirl it around a little bit so I don't have one blob. Perfect. I'm going to come in with the heat gun just one more time. Okay, so let's get, oh, I'm afraid to do this because I don't want it all to blend. So we're going to start up here and we're going to have to do this kind of quickly, I think. Let me just get all my stickies out of here so I don't goof it up. All right, let's put, let's do this. We'll do two at a time. Let's get in here and get the gold on the bottom. Press that out. And then let's do the dark on the top. Oh, that worked. It's pushing all that gold back out. That's good. And then we'll put this rest of this gold on the bottom. Oh, I think it might work. I think it might work. Oh, I can see glitter in there, guys. Let me see if we can... And let's put, let's do a shark in here, see if it'll work. I need to, we'll use this guy, put him in there. And we'll do a stingray up here. We'll see, hopefully. You can see them through there. Get down in there, stay in there. And then I'm going to come back. I'm going to have to keep coming and poking him down. And I'm going to come back with the rest of the, the clear. Just to fill it up. I think this will work. Oh my goodness. 
going to keep coming back. I don't want to see this guy on the back end. I'd rather see him in the front. And this guy. Perfect. <sighs> he keeps popping up. All right, I'm going to have to come down periodically and unpop him up. <laughs> I'm going to wipe off this edge here so it's not... There we go. Perfect. All right, guys, I'm going to give it a light torch with this guy. I don't know if you can see. I'm going to turn it this way. And I'm going to show you the depth in here is amazing. I just hope it looks good on the other side. Like, can you see that? Amazing. Okay. There you go, my friends. So I'm going to come back. I just got to make sure this guy is upwards, not upside down or something. Oh no, or upside down or something. I got gold in it. I don't want gold there. Let's just try and we'll move it in there, move it around. Oh well, there's gold on the back. Okay. Quit goofing. All right, so I will come back again, guys, and we will see what comes. I'm excited. I may have to do another. Actually, where's my, I'm gonna do my alcohol ink. Alcohol ink, alcohol. Look at that. S for spectacular, stupendous. C, shore, sherry. How many more S words can we describe this with? <laughs> All right. On that note, I'll see you guys in 24 hours. Hopefully I can unmold it because um, with their directions with this particular, I think the, dip, the deeper the cast, the longer it'll take. Um, when I was talking with Laura from the actual company, she had told me that it takes 20 or 48 hours to set up. Now, when I did my eyelashes for my coworker, they are eyelash case, not eyelashes. I wasn't making resin eyelashes, could you imagine? Um, it, it took 24 hours and it was set. So the same as my other stuff. So, so anyways, so I think this will be a little longer. So I will see you guys when it's cured. Bye. Hello, we are back. It has been only 24 hours, but I'm excited. It's all hard. So that's pretty cool. I, when I talked to Laura, she told me it would take, oh, this is, sorry. She told me it would take 48 hours, but this is pretty good. Oh, there we go. Awesome. I touched it here, so this is my, my fault, but I think it turned out pretty cool. Look at the depth in there. The waves kind of kind of turned out a little bit. Can you see the, I don't know if you can see the, I can see the shark, but I can't really see the, um, I can see a little bit of the, uh, oh my goodness, <laughs> the stingray. I couldn't, my brain is just, I've only had one coffee guys. I think that is cool. All the depth in there, that little bit of glitter. Oh, that's pretty cool. The only thing I don't like is the sand. The gold got away on me. So if I did this again, I would do it because I love the way that went with the sand. But where I put here the gold, I would just do it all blue the next time because you've already got the sand there, so it doesn't matter. But oh, that's pretty cool. So if you want to um, get one of these molds, I do have a um, 
they've given me a discount code if you want to go and check it out it is um fundy molds and my discount code is all capital letters sherry molten and you get 10 percent. so that's pretty cool i think that's neat i may have to go and get the rest of them because they have the whole alphabet so that's pretty cool so with that i hope you enjoyed today's video um if you have not yet subscribed please do subscribe and give it a thumbs up and hit that bell for notifications for the next time i have a video you'll get notified and in my description box i have the links to my amazon shops i have the links to um tri art liquid glass i also have the links to crystal resin which is the resin that i used today this I was testing, I was a double tester this week, so I was testing out the um, the deep casting resin, so get some of that. I have a um, Laura's Art Corner, which I used all of her amazing stuff today, all my paste from Larez. I have a discount code for her. It is all capital letters, Sherry Molten 10%. Go get some of those the rest paste they're amazing and the glitters are to die for so go check that out and also there's my paypal link if you care to donate to my glitter addiction and with that being said i hope you're all having a wonderful day i know this was not a normal bling bling video but i apologize and we're going to be back on track next week so have a wonderful sunday love you guys Bye.